Dash. Body else be happy, that they be well, and free from suffering. It's the choice to consider the well-being of everyone in how we interact with the world. Meta isn't conditional. It isn't something we offer only to people. We like, we can have concern and care even when we're feeling our own pain. We can bring Meta to mind when we're faced with difficulty or torn by conflicting feelings about the conditions of life at the moment. Meta doesn't depend on people acting in a certain way, on our feeling a certain way in the moment, or on the result of our caring. It frees us from only caring about the well-being of others when we think it will lead to some outcome. With Meta, we don't ask the question, will it do any good to care about this person's well-being? This means that how we think about another person isn't based on their behavior, or even on the other person at all. How we think about a person is up to us, and if it's shaped by the practice of Metta, then we can care about every person's well-being, even the most difficult and unpleasant people we know. We can honestly hope that everyone finds a way to be happy without causing harm. Wishing this goodwill towards others frees us from the reactivity and anger that can come when we focus on the person's behavior or what we think they ought to do. We can begin to see the suffering and pain that somebody experiences as a result of their actions, and care about that pain even if it might also lead to pain for us or for others. Our wish is that all beings are free from pain and suffering, that they escape hatred and fear, that they are at ease, and that they find happiness. Generosity, compassion, and loving-kindness make forgiveness not only possible, but also essential for recovery. Forgiveness rests on understanding and caring about the pain and confusion that give rise to actions that we experience as harmful. We forgive when we focus on the person, rather than the action. We forgive only in the present when our hurt and anger make us aware that our resentment is blocking our uncompassionate and generous responses. Forgiveness is not so much something we are giving to the person who hurt us, but something we give to ourselves. It's centered more on our own conscious intention in how we choose to respond to them. Just as we sometimes act out of fear, greed, or confusion, we see that others do too. Forgiveness doesn't mean we accept or tolerate harm. It comes from understanding and accepting that the person causing us harm is doing so from a place of pain and con. Dash. Fusion. We extend compassion and goodwill to that person, even as we actively try to end the harm. This may mean creating safe boundaries or removing ourselves from exposure to harm. But we do this from a place of compassion and understanding, not resentment. It is essential that we extend the healing of forgiveness and calm. Pass into ourselves. Forgiveness allows us to let go of the guilt and shame of our own harmful actions. We remember that compassion is an action. So when we forgive ourselves we also set an intention not to recreate or continue the harm we have caused to others and to ourselves. Making amends is an important part of forgiveness. As we begin 
To gain clarity about the harm we caused in our addiction, we commit to make amends for that harmful behavior. We don't make amends for the sake of satisfying some external standard of morality, to be forgiven, or to get something in return. Instead, we use the process as a way to let go of our expectations and disappointments in others and ourselves, in other words, to let go of our attachment to a different past. One of the central principles of karma is realizing that I alone am responsible for the way my past actions impact my current responses to the world. We change our habits by letting go of the past and restoring balancing our relationships. Things we did in the past create patterns of behavior that continue to shape our thoughts and intentions in the present. That process doesn't stop until we change our relationship with those patterns and toward the people we've harmed. Amends are about Restoring the balance in our relationships, not about asking for forgive. Dash. Ness from others. In a sense, it is an action we take to forgive ourselves. When we have come to understand and face the reality of our impact on others, we begin to understand the purpose of making amends. Practicing compassion leads to a desire to relieve the suffering of people we've harmed, and a commitment to not cause further suffer. Dash. In. Even if the person isn't a part of our lives any longer, it's possible to acknowledge their hurt and to offer them our goodwill and our remorse. Making amends means we do what we can to remedy the harm or wrong. If that is not possible, we resolve to do some good, not as compensation, but to develop our habits in a different direction. When we intention, dash, ally take responsibility for our actions, we let go of harmful avoidance and self-judgment and develop a sense of connectedness, peace, and ease. Amends begin with a willingness to forgive ourselves and take the path of reconciliation, not only with those we have harmed, but also with our own hearts and minds. Generosity, compassion, loving-kindness, and forgiveness allow as to experience equanimity as we face pain and discomfort, both in ourselves and others. The fourth heart practice is equanimity. Dot, during our addictions, we often responded to situations that caused us anger, fear, or resentment with a craving that the situations be different. We gave up and surrender to the negative experience of life. Equanimity does not mean giving up, it is more a quality of leaning in. It is finding peace exactly where we are, regardless of external circumstances. Equanimity allows us to be right in the middle of things, to understand and accept things as they are without needing to escape. When we gave up, we said, I don't care what happens. Equanimity, on the other hand, is being able to say, I can be present for this. It's the acceptance that while there are some things we cannot change, we still have power over how we respond to them. While we don't always have control over our thoughts and feel. Dash. Ings. We do have power over how we feed them. Inquiry of wise intention. Colon. What compassion or forgiveness can you offer when someone's in. Dash. 
intention is good but their impact is harmful. If it doesn't feel safe or appropriate to offer this directly to the person, how can you bring that forgiveness into your own heart so you don't have the burden of carrying it? During your periods of addictive behavior, how did you act in ways that were clinging, uncaring, harsh, cruel, or unforgiving? 2. Dash. Lord whom, including yourself, were these feelings directed? How might generosity, compassion, loving kindness, and forgiveness have changed your behavior? What actions have you taken that have harmed others? Have you formed an intention to reconcile with both yourself and the person or people you've harmed to make amends? If so, have you found a wise friend or mentor you can go to for guidance and support in the amends process, which is summarized below? What support can this person provide as you begin the process of amends? Making amends. Have you done something intentionally that you now recognize? caused harm to another, who has been harmed by your actions. Have you honestly formed the intention not to repeat harmful AC? Dash. Try on and to learn from the experience in future interactions. Have you begun the process of directly addressing the harmful actions of your past? Making amends depends on the circumstance, including your press, dash, and relationship to the person and the extent to which you can undo the harm caused through direct actions, like correcting a public dis, dash, honesty or compensating another for things you have taken that were not freely offered. Ask yourself, what can I do in the present? Can you address and reconcile with the harm you have caused with? Dash. Out forming an attachment to being forgiven. Identify the motive of. Dash. T on for making each amends. What actions would restore balance in your own feelings and AP? Dash. Approach to whatever harm you have caused. Can these steps be taken? without causing new harm to the person or the relationship. If you're experiencing a difficult situation or choice in your life right now, investigate the intention you are bringing to this situation. 1. Are you being selfish or self-seeking? How? 2. Are you being driven by aversion, running away from an unpleasant? Experience are craving, grasping for pleasure. How? 3. How could you bring in a spirit of generosity, compassion, loving care, dash, inness, appreciative joy, and forgiveness to this situation? 4. How would this situation look different if you brought these factors to mind before reacting or responding? 5. If you don't want to, can you at least have the intention and willing? Dash. Nest to do so. Wise speech. Wise speech is based on the intention to do no harm. Move all. Use speech in a manner that may create harm. Lying to think others from. Knowing what's really going on. Gossiping with the intention of putting someone down or satisfying our desire to be recognized, stealing time, and attention by chattering on and on, or trying to convince others to meet our own needs at the expense of their own. Why is speech includes all the ways we use our voices, including online and in writing. The basic foundation of wise speech is honesty or truthfulness. 
Dishonesty is exaggeration, minimizing only.